it's him. He's there. He's gonna come and stand there. You know, I was born as a fighter, so we're gonna fight. I'm confident that I won that fight. There was a lot of moment in the fight that I was looking at him. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. One this is not what I thought. On the third card, winner by split decision. Trying to recover from those little, those little pain, those little issues. But at the end of the day, it won't matter that much because when you get there, the adrenaline goes up, you fire up. Takes over. Oh man. With time, I learned that the pain is more in your head than in your body when you think about it. Because you feel you have some pain sometimes, you go to a fight, and then when you start fighting, if you don't, you don't even remember that you have a pain. I mean, it's really down to kind of helping Francis recover over the week, uh, making him feel comfortable, fresh. Um, training this week is kind of tapering down, so really kind of things are keeping his heart rate up, keeping him going, keeping him sharp on the pads. Um, and really kind of my job here is to make him feel comfortable. The short of black and gold was a running colour theme throughout the whole thing. And the whole reference and like inspiration behind the shorts was like Afrofuturism. Uh, you're going to wear a robe on the walkout, but this is just for like a pre, like a warm up jacket. All this writing here, it's got like Riyadh season, it's got baddest man on the planet, Cameroon, it's got a date of the fight, it says fumbled the bag. It's all mm. like hidden messages, you know? Yeah. So they flew from LA to Riyadh, which is an 18 and a half hour flight just yesterday to drop the robe off in person so that Francis could try on today. It's very royal. And then this one is a lighter option. Fuck you, bro. There we go. But that, that's the actual reality of it. Like that one is the one that is a, someone flew in all the way from LA to deliver that by hand yesterday and they fly back today. Mm. Um, but I wanted to give you some options. The, the fight was so big. You know, the magnitude of this fight, the promotion of this fight and everything. I don't know the temperature of this water. I have to test it. And I'm like, oh man, I hope I won't be surprised. I hope I won't embarrass myself here uh, with all this promotion, you know. Here we go. I'm taking this to Cameroon. So where are you going to put it? In my palace. You're going to sit in May it? I? I mean, sometimes you, you, you kind of like wish you would have fight in the parking lot that nobody will see. So you won't embarrass yourself. Like, ah, oh, I don't know about this, you know, but Again, you are a competitor, you have to go out there and perform. So you know that um, if you let it go, you won't be so bad. So try to convince yourself by your training, think about your training, if you've done everything right. And then, yes, you've done everything right, so you should be okay. My people. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Yes, definitely. Girl. Respect on people's back. <laughs> All my team, every one of you guys, thank you for helping me and supporting me uh, throughout this moment and uh, get us here. And uh, for my family to always be next to me, to always support me, for those who uh, could, could have make it and those who couldn't make it at all, uh, I know that they still support me no matter what. I feel nervous uh, today, you know, stress sometimes because as a uh, uh, as an athlete, as a competitor, you you have to compete. You have to be aware of the, uh, um, what is on the, on the line, the victory, and it's never enough. But uh, besides that, um, I think I have won this fight already. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>
obviously when we get there with the tell us uh, we should be walking out there from uh, at uh, 1240 and then they came back and then they say like uh, 1255 and then they came back and say 110 and then 115 and i'm like okay guys at some point you need to give us we need a time uh, because i need to warm up at certain time before workout so I'm not gonna go over all the rules of boxing. Just give me an old rules of boxing. Okay. Same thing happens. You stop punching, you protect yourself, and you take that step back. I'm gonna give you the appropriate instructions then. And that's, if you get turned around, all you can see is this and this, you can't let go. That's not a legal area of the body. You can't punch them in the back, you can't punch them in the back of the head. So if you get turned around somehow, somehow, or even if you're in a clinch like this, you can't hit them on the back of the head, okay? So we're here, um, Francis is wrapping yeah. his hands. Uh, this is the moment where everyone starts to kind of lock in and get focused. You see him back here with his headphones on. He's focused. I've been around him before he fights many times. And uh, it's just a good feeling to see how focused he is. This is when he gets his, his thoughts together, right? His game plan. And then it's just going to be about relaxing. You know, a lot of nerves before the fight all the time. But he'll get a good workout in, right? The team is all having good energy. Uh, so it's exciting. It's, it's, we're going to shock the world, man. Just watch. Bro, do it. No, no, can I say something? Do it, because you know why? My first Super A fight, when I did a Superman punch, they said nothing. Same referee, second one, I did it, and they were like, no, no, you can't do that. But no, but the thing is, David Tua, Mike Tyson, flying left hook, yeah. your feet off the ground. Yeah. So do it. It lands. It lands. Yeah. As long as it is, they can't say anything. Yeah, it's pissed. Yeah, it's pissed. What? Oh, your feet have to plant. Look at David Tua and Mike whenever they threw the hook. Boom, they're off the ground. So you can do it. It lands, trust me. And especially when you do this. It just. Oh. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three It was impressive. You know, I came out and then was on the throne and all these. Then work. My coach, Mike Tyson, take the crown off of my head. Then I have to work. To, uh, and then, like, the flat, there was a whole bunch of Cameroonian flag here, a big flag on the screen uh, behind and everything. Man, I'm like, okay, this is another show. But I do have a excitement in boxing, you know, after the fight, of, after last night. Before that, I believed that I can do it, but now I know that I can do it. I've been there with it. This experience was unique. It was something that I gained some of my surf beliefs. I'm confident that I won that fight. I want to understand why those judges judge like that. I think it's a shame for boxing, bro. I think it's a shame of this sport and those uh, judges or whoever, they should be sanctioned. Again, I think Tyson is going to fight Alexander, uh, Alexander Yusek. I don't know when exactly, but I do believe that we're gonna run this back. At the meantime, I still have some MMA fight. I might go to PFL, get some fight and come back.